Support for Just Seen It comes from Fandor, dedicated to supporting independent films and filmmakers. Movies from around the world are available at fandor.com slash ptv. Fandor, all for film. Kaylee and Tim are siblings who underwent a terrible tragedy in childhood. Ten years later, the two reunite to keep a promise. They must destroy the supernatural presence that killed their parents in Oculus. Hi, I'm Brenna, here with Kevin and Sean to talk about the new horror movie, Oculus. We've all just seen it. Kevin, how about you start us off? So I really like Mike Flanagan as a director. He directed this indie movie called Absentia, which I saw when I was sick one afternoon on Netflix. I really loved it. It was scary. It had great characterization, low budget. He knew how to create um, attention. And I got really excited about Oculus because of that. And then we saw it. And it just, it's the script is the problem. I think he still has style as a director, but man, the script wasn't good. It's got plot holes, it's got, it's trying to tell too many stories at one time. Yeah. It's trying to tell the story of the parents and the children at the same time, sometimes overlapping. Right. And it's a little distracting, you can't tell which story is being told at the moment. I liked that. You liked that. it. <laughs> uh, I thought, I found it to be annoying at times. Really? It was, um, it was interesting. It was interesting, and then it was sort of like, well, what is actually happening now? Right. Why are we doing this for so long? Well, they call this movie Oculus, which is the most interesting title they could come up with because they didn't want to call it Evil Mirror which is really what this movie is about. So when you have a premise that is really that simple and kind of stupid, what they've done is they've inserted a lot of things into it. You've got these demonic presences that are walking around that I guess are past victims of the mirror. Mm -hmm. You've got this past and present timelines that are going simultaneously because there just isn't enough meat within the story to do it. So they have to, to put all the, these extra elements in it and they don't ever really explain the extra elements right. and they don't have the movie ever really make sense. So if we knew what was at stake, what the mirror was going, what the mirror did, why it did it, then we could watch the characters and go, okay, I'm afraid for them. But as it stands, I just stood there watching it going, okay, I'm seeing things happening, but I don't care. I don't really understand why they're happening. So ultimately, this is just a waste of my time. You know, Katie Sackhoff. <gasps> Don't ever say anything I bad about her. Katie Sackhoff. I, I, I like Katie Sackhoff. She's very appealing. She's making bad career choices. Yeah, I know. When she's chained up and she's gnawing on plates, I mean, that's not a performance anymore. That's just, you're just looking at that and it's like, this is sad. You should be doing something else. With her, we have Karen Gillan of Doctor Who fame. With a and really, Guardians of the Galaxy. And she'll be up. in Guardians of the Galaxy. Hopefully she'll be better in Guardians of the Galaxy because <laughs> I really want that to be good. Here she's got a really bad American accent. I mean, I thought she was okay. I mean, I kind of liked her. There was something appealing about watching her. I just didn't think she was given anything to do except to act crazier than anybody else in the movie. Which I felt, yeah, maybe that's <laughs> why she felt like she was overacting. Yeah. It's because she didn't have anything to work with except for maybe, okay, you know, cry here and be weird here. And it all takes place in that one room, yeah, practically, right. so. The, the real standouts are actually the, the kids. Yes. Annalise yeah. Basso and Garrett Ryan, who play these this brother and sister when they're uh, younger. They were better than the adults. I mean, they were. They <laughs> really true. seemed genuinely scared the whole time. The, the only thing was I didn't necessarily feel that they looked like their older counterparts. So I was like, really, they grew up to be these people? I think, the whole, red I think the whole family <laughs> casting was awful. Katie Sackhoff's awful red dye job in her hair to make it make her the ginger mother. And then the dad with his round face. <laughs> ginger mother. No, to, make, to, to excuse why Karen Gillan is ginger, yeah, yeah. you have to have the mother in her hair. Karen Gillan's badly hair died. was awful. Yeah, it was weird. It's like an anime <laughs> flip thing. <laughs> it looked like the 80s. But then the brother has this long, lean face, and Karen Gillan has this really round face. Yeah. Like the family casting was just off. None of them looked related to anybody. Hello again. You must be hungry. But our director, the one that you're you're touting here. I know, but you know, I, I think he's a good director. I think he he has talent. They clearly gave him more money, and um, Absentia was super, super low budget. But I think because of the constraints he had with that film, he was able to create an atmosphere that was super, super creepy, and the scares were scarier. And the, even in that film, he didn't give you all the information you had to get, but you had enough that you knew what the stakes were. And here, it you know, it was a short film first, and I think 
he just didn't have enough to make it into a, a full feature. I mean, it's an evil mirror. That's it's so silly that things should have come out of it. So, something yeah. should have happened. You know, yeah. have fun with the premise of of this, which is so silly. It's like John Carpenter made Prince of Darkness. You know, he he had fun with something kind of similar, with the, these portals into another world or whatever they were. And so I was just kind of rooting for it to just kind of embrace the goofiness. It's just cheap. Well, I, I, yeah. I mean, I think that it kind of feels like a cheap '80s B movie. It just isn't as fun as some of those cheap 80s B movies. After much reflection, as much as I want to support the director, I'm going to say Rent Absentia. As for Oculus, skip it. Oculus isn't worth peering into even for the most devoted horror fan. Skip it. The acting and production design isn't awful, but the story leaves way too much to be desired. Don't look too much into this one. Skip it. Cheers. Cheers. We stared at that one long enough. Well, it's not a concave or a convex mirror. So it is, <laughs> it is flat. AJA Video Systems, proud supporter of Just Seen It, offers a wide range of professional acquisition and post-production solutions. Learn more at aja.com ptv.